Hi everyone. So I wrote a couple of um, pieces that I wrote actually way before Russian Nationals, the Olympic, Grandpa's Secret, Juice, and the war started. At first, I wasn't sure that I would post any of it, only because most of what I wrote is like what would have happened on a different world in the multiverse. However, after a while, I thought it would be interesting to post some of it and see how what I wrote back then applies to the current situation in skating. So this is one of the pieces that I wrote before everything happened. As Russian nationals in the Olympic approach, I have started to give some serious thoughts to post-Olympic careers for the team Tuberetsi girls. Because while I may have a vivid imagination, not even my imagination will allow me to believe that any of these girls will make it post-Beijing. So... Given that reality, I thought it would be fun to try to come up with ideas of what the Itubersi girls should do. Now, as we all know, Iteri started the season with the six pillars known as Anna Shabakova, Maya Kromik, Daria Ushashova, Camilla Valieva, Alexandra Chuseva, and Aliona Kostanaya. As it now stands, two of those pillars, Aliona and Daria, have completely crumbled. Two other pillars, Alexandra and Anna, are looking unstable at best. But fret not, two pillars, Camilla and Maya, are still firmly in place. And after all, two out of six still adds up to great in Iteri's math. So... Given all this, I will not stretch my imagination with the belief that these girls are getting past Beijing. Instead, I will look towards their fruitful post-Olympic careers. Now, while the girls themselves are of some importance, what matters the most is how we can guarantee the maximum amount for Iteri's 40%. After all, not everyone can do Ice Age. Therefore, my solution is an R-pop girl group. Yes, Russian pop girl group. This will be the girl group to end all girl groups. That's right. Forget about Spice Girls, Blackpink, Destiny's Child. No, the six pillars of Tuberetsi will become the greatest it group in the girl group industry. Now imagine it with me. To start off with, we're going to have Channel One do a 13-episode making of the girl group type series. We're going to have behind the scenes of the girls working with the best composers in Russia, getting their lead singles, learning their choreography. Who will be the choreographer, you ask? Well, the one, the only, Daniel Glockenhaus. Why? Because our eyes must be assaulted on the ice as well as off the ice. We will, of course, need one full episode dedicated to Mr. Daniel G. Where he will talk about his artistic process. We must come to understand that pentamining comes from his soul. He will explain to us how exhausting it is for him as a creative genius to cut and paste the same program over and over again to different cuts of music. I'm sorry, everyone. Just imagining Danny's G's pain has overwhelmed me. Excuse me. He will, of course, end his episode by mentioning how proud he is of Anna because she now only needs one shrimp to survive. And how disappointed he is in lazy Aliona Kostanaya because she only broke one arm instead of two, which shows she's not putting in enough effort. The Danny G episode will, of course, be followed by the Itheri's greatest, biggest fan committee special. This is where Tatiana Tarasova will give Itheri's flowers and congratulate her on not only being the greatest coach ever, but also a genius businesswoman. Alexandra Zulin, not to be outdone, 
will recommend that we recognize Itheri's greatness in the same light as Princess Diana and Mother Teresa. And of course, Queen Itheri Tuberesi herself will have a full episode where she explains her motherly love for these girls. Not just her own beloved nepotism baby of the century, Diana Davis, but all of these girls are her beloved. It's not about the 40% for her. It's about motherly love. These precious babies are her greatest joy in life. This is why she created this girl group to allow her precious babies to continue to shine at 40% each. As for the composition of the group, it will be as follow. We will follow the American created template, but that was perfected in Korea. Aliona, she was born to be a diva Kostanaya, will be the center. Why? Because who else will bring us the drama for our mamas? Every week we will have a different headline. Aliona has left the group. Aliona's going solo. No, she's back with the group. Aliona's fighting with her group members. No, she's everyone's best friend. People, please. The center can only be Miss Kostanaya. Anna Shabakova is our lead singer. What? She can't sing? Who cares? With that beautiful face of her, we will auto-tune her into a platinum-selling artiste. It's not like it'll be the first time in history that a singer who can't sing goes platinum. And if Itheri can convince us that Anna's quad is fully rotated, then coming up with some singing ability is next to nothing, okay? And then Alexandra, Sasha, Chuseva will be our main rapper. That's right. Not only can Sasha bring fire to the ice, but our girl can also spit bars. Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, please, they ain't got nothing on the one and only quad queen, Sasha Trusova. Of course, endless leg kick, Camilla Valieva is our main dancer. She will, of course, perform that horrendous bolero for every one of her solos. Why? Because Danny G said so. As for our story member, it will be none other than I have quad two, Maya Cromick. We can have her participate in some athletic competition and show how healthy the Itheri girls are. Look, look at how strong Maya is. We let her eat at least three shrimps, maybe four shrimps per sitting. And last but not least is the Maki, the baby of the group, a.k.a. the peacemaker. With so many divas in one group, we will need someone there to unruffle feathers and keep the peace. That is where our sweet Maki Daria comes in. Now, we have the formation of our groups. The show will end with the girls making their big debut. You know, they're going to have an international concert where we, the fans, get to vote on the group name as well as their first single. This will be followed by a world tour where Diana Davis and Yevgenia Medvedeva will be their special guests. All that I ask is that they come to New York and perform at the Garden, where I will be front seat. Now, I firmly believe that talent should never be wasted. And any Thetty, our pop girl group, is the best way to make full use of these talented young ladies and guarantee Miss Tuberetsi her 40%. Please let me know what you guys think of my girl group ideas. And more important, what should we name it? So guys, this was what I wrote before everything happened. I just thought it's so funny given what has happened today. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments.